Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game with a single uh, soldier per mission. Pretty crazy. It's end of month number four and we're still in the game trying our best to fight back but the Avatar pro uh, project is making progress. Uh, we need to make contact with the skirmishes as soon as possible just to regularly scan for intel. Oh gosh, the game is... Oh my gosh, did we just get two Avatar project points? Wow, this here is crazy and with two facilities it's going to ramp up even further. Alright, the Chosen is now immune to explosions, which definitely sucks. Black Market can be closed. Oh, Undying Loyalty, that is a problem. I like Vulture, but I think we're going to switch it for additional XP for our soldiers. And let's continue to build faster. That is helpful. We got uh, some more time. And... Oh wow, that's uh, pretty helpful. Avatar progress. Another avatar progress. We could get an engineer here. Well, I think, since we're only having one sergeant at the moment, might as well do this mission here. Problem is there is a moderate chance of a wounding. Yep, but there is always a chance for wounding. And the problem is our Templar... What? 19 days? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Gotta get the Templar back as soon as possible. For now, Roby is going to do the missions where we, we need to reduce the Avatar progress. Like, there is no way around it. Can't let him get captured. And since there is a decent chance for them to get ambushed as well, we need to give them the necessary items. Both of them are as well equipped as they could be. Let's hope that they are not going to be ambushed during the mission, but um, the main... The main um, focus will be to make sure that, that they actually can finish the mission and reduce the avatar progress. So, since our Templar is 19 days out of, out of order, might as well go and scan to improve the healing time because we need him to take some of the mission rewards and benefits. Got a new mission here. Extract the Advent VIP from Advent City Operation Fire Knife. I'm not 100% sure if it's a good idea to do that. There is a relatively high likelihood that we're not going to survive. So, since this is a mission where it's all about being stealthy, and maybe not even surviving it. We take one of our newly trained uh, specialists and we'll get her into the mission. She just gets st standard gear, nothing 
out of the ordinary. This needs to be enough. We can't um, we can't risk more. Don't want to give away any of our good gear. If she pulls it off, great. If not, we have lost a rookie. And so what? That is it. Well, there we go. We're coming in hot. And we can already see that there is a mech guarding the extraction point. One of the things we could do is we could try to sneak our way around the house here, which I think we should at least try. The longer we can stay out of line of sight, the better, I suppose. Taking the longest possible way around. I was contemplating whether or not we might want to take the high ground here, but it's not not um, long enough. And this here will probably lead to some sort of some sort of triggering of a of an enemy pack. <coughs> if we could uh, give the scientists an aid protocol in case things are not going as planned. That might be all it takes. Moving to designated position. I'll take a look. Could take a hack here. Yeah, SWAT side doesn't really offer us anything. Might as well not take it. We still have nine more turns to get out of here. How would we do that? Could climb up here and then simply sprint over, move all the way up to here. Then jump through the window. Oh no, that's a closed kitchen. Nah. The closer we can get to here and get out of it, the better, I guess. Hmm. Hard to say. We know that there is a pack up there. Wow, okay. That's bad. All right, moving up. We can only hope that the mutant is going to miss. He's clearly flanking us. Overwatch, okay. Miss. Wow. 
All right. Well, we're officially spotted out. Can't fully reach the exit. We can't fully reach the exit. We could aid protocol him. And simply stay back. That takes care of Overwatch. Oh shit. Yeah, we're not going to leave uh, this place alive. We're, we're definitely go not going to leave this place alive. Unless the aliens like completely ignore their turn, everyone just goes for Overwatch. No, they don't. It happens. It happens. If we would have ignored the mission, um, it would have happened as well. Problem is, with uh, losing this particular mission, is I think we also lost access to the region. Yeah, we lost contact with the region. So we're we're down to one region. And we don't have the intel to make contact. It's disheartening, but realistically speaking, um, the moment that we got uh, spotted out was essentially the moment that the entire mission went completely south. It's all the same in the end. The chosen are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Even if that means wiping out and Well that's a good development. We got magnetic weapons finally. And we could improve the uh, the damage of magnetic weapons by plus one on top of it, which I think we're going to do, because here's the thing. Um, that's the level of plasma weapons, which means uh, we can wait with researching them for quite a while. It's not perfect. But it is a solution that can carry us through a long um, part of the game. So let's purchase the upgrade here. Oh, we're even losing money per month. I never had that before. Psionic energy flows throughout our world. And by mastering its forces, the Templars are... Get another mission. Sabotage a transmitter. 
to counteract um, a hidden event. Also, there are extra materials stockpiled near the site, which might be our our actual mission. Could imagine we're going to do that. In terms of going for the uh, for the mission here, could use Renman. Or we're just using Sanchez here, who at least has a chance of getting someone down. Just one check real quick. Build items, weapons. Yeah, we need alloys. Good, let's try it. Corporal Sanchez. The first uh, bit uh, at the first side of danger, we're going to evac him. Our um, idea is to maybe kill a single enemy or get a crate. And there we go again. So we're most certainly not going to sabotage the transmitter. But we might be able to get some of the crates. So let's take a close look where those crates might be hidden. Hmm. Where are the crates? Not even starting to move into the direction of the mission objective because that will get me closer to enemies and our idea here is to maybe get a crate or two nothing Is there a crate over here? No. That's affirmative. Oh, over here. That's the first one. Minutes one five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Bradford, you're too negative. On the move. Seriously. Last chance for what? It's too late. They've disconnected the transmitter from their network. We missed our opportunity here. Yeah. Well, depends what we were trying to achieve. I think. By opening the chest, pretty much on spot. What did we get though?
and call a Sky Ranger directly onto us. So let's call it here. We are certainly not able to eliminate the targets, so see you later. Let's hope that that our loot at least was good enough. Eight enemies might have um, included the Chosen as well. Just something to consider. It was a moderately difficult mission. So we certainly did not sabotage the transmitter. And apparently... We did not get anything out of the crate. Which is a bit disheartening because I think I did a pre I did a admirable job to find the crate. Chosen doubled their efforts to hunt the uh, commander seeking to capture XCOM soldiers at every opportunity. Well, we're not fighting them. Oh. Well, that is going to be interesting. Because now we're playing a real mission. An ambush. Um, that's going to be our next, uh, the mission in our next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we are up to Operation Blood Fist, which is de facto going to be the first mission where we have more than one operative because we're getting ambushed and you couldn't stop the mission with only one operative. So we might even be able to win this. Cool. See you in the next mission and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.